Hi everybody. Today I'm going to tell you about a great piece of software I use for voiceover recording called VoiceMeter. VoiceMeter is a virtual mixer for PCs published by VB Audio. What do I use it for? I use it to record interviews I conduct on Skype. You can also use it to record game sound, system sound, and of course, voiceover recordings. VoiceMeter is great for voiceovers because during a Skype-directed recording session, it allows me to play back my recordings to clients with or without a music bed, so that's something I find very useful. VB Audio's website is www.vb-audio.com. VoiceMeter is donationware, so please do donate 10 euro, 20 euro, 15 dollars, whatever you think is appropriate, for this terrific piece of software. And here is the download link. I also recommend you download and install their virtual audio cable, which is important if you're going to use VoiceMeter with Skype. Once you have downloaded and installed the software and the virtual audio cable, you need to choose VoiceMeter in your default sound settings. I'm running Windows 10, so I need to come down here to System, System, and then Sound. OK, here you have your sound input and output settings. In Output, you need to select VoiceMeter Input. That does sound a bit counterintuitive, but that's what you need to do. And down here in Input, where I would normally route in my microphone via my audio interface, I need to select VoiceMeter Output. Right, now we can fire up VoiceMeter. It takes a few seconds to get going. Right, this is the VoiceMeter user interface. I find it straightforward and easy to use. So, VoiceMeter offers you two inputs and two outputs, one of which is a hardware output, and the second is a virtual output to your door, your streaming application, etc. First, the inputs 1 and 2. You need to select a source for each one. So, for input 1, I have selected my main microphone for voiceover. You can name each input by right-clicking on the Name field. So I have named input 1 TLM49 my microphone. And the other input, input 2, I'm going to use this input to route in what the other person says during a Skype call. So as the input source, I select the virtual audio cable I mentioned earlier. In Skype, I will then route that in. Each input has its own Levels slider. If you double-click on the slider button, the levels automatically return to zero decibels, which is great. You can also mute each input. You can solo inputs. Right. Next, this strip here in the voice meter mixer is my system sound. This is the sound in the computer. I can illustrate this by playing a song on YouTube. You can see the signal of the song on the graphic equaliser here. OK, now for the routing. We need to decide where each of the two signals from our inputs is going to go. So I'm going to choose B for my microphone. I want the person I'm chatting to on Skype to hear me, so I need to check B here too. And then I'm routing the mic signal into the box, into my computer, so I check B here too. The Skype input is input A, and I'll check A on the system strip too. That's the routing dealt with. Now let's take a look at the outputs. First we have to select a hardware output. For me the hardware output goes to my speakers, so I select my speakers here. That output to speakers also has its own volume slider, and if you double-click on the slider button, the volume returns to zero decibels. And finally, the virtual output. 
The most important thing about the virtual output is to check this button here, Composite. Checking this button here means that the signals coming into VoiceMeter can be routed to separate tracks in my door in Adobe Audition. And that's why I installed VoiceMeter in the first place. OK, we've now completed a basic configuration of VoiceMeter. So, over to Adobe Audition. I've already created a new multi-track session. But before we assign the tracks, we need to choose VoiceMeter in Audio Devices. So, open Audio Devices and instead of my regular audio interface, click on VoiceMeter Virtual ASIO. Now, in this multi-track, I want to record voiceovers. So, I will name this track here VoiceOver. And I need to pick VIO5 for the source here. Now, if I activate the track, I can see a signal coming in from my main microphone. Great. Next, I will assign a track for System Sound. System Sound. This one needs to be VIO1. If I play the song on YouTube, you can see that I have a signal coming in from my computer's system sound here. That can be your game audio, for example. And finally, I want to record my interview partner on Skype. So let's call this track Skype Incoming. And the source needs to be VIO2. Boom. Done. Let's try a test recording. I activate the system sound track to record my YouTube song. Signal coming in. Good. Record. And there we go. That's recording nicely. I'll stop that now. Return to the start of the track. Deactivate that. Tweak the volume of the music down in my headphones. That's a bit loud. Activate my voiceover track to record and record over the top of the music. Stop. If I want to play that back and to a client on Skype, the, the, the routing we set up earlier Stop. means that they will hear either both, or either one of these two tracks, which is very useful for voiceover artists. So that's it. Give it a try. Fantastic piece of software. Voice Meter from VB Audio.